Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm in a place I used to work. Actually, I'm not in a place. I'm near a place I used to work back in uh, in the 90s and in 2000. Uh, this is the side of the building right here. It's uh, It was the TV studio that I used to work at. And you can see there's some. it's an old car there. <laughs> so I pulled... Okay, so I've been to this building a couple times. It's um, formerly ABC Channel 40 building. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> wow, perfect timing. And uh, I've been by here a couple times and I was like trying to figure out... There's usually like... Uh, it looks like nobody works here. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say... It looks like nobody works here. Because there's no sign. The sign doesn't say it's a business, so I could There's no place... <laughs> what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that I haven't woken up yet. I'm trying to say that there's no sign, so I don't know what phone number to call to reach the people who own the building to ask them what the building is now. So I pulled up to this building today, and I opened the door, it was unlocked, so I said, I guess I'll just go in. And I said, hello, and some guy, some guy came out, and he was like, hey, how you doing? What can I do for you? And I said, oh, I used to work here, and I was curious to what the building is now. And he said, he was in a big hurry, and he was like kind of rushing past me, and he was like, it's an office. It's an office building, just a big empty office. And so when he came out, I could tell he was trying to like just get me out of the building, basically. And... Um, that was really weird. It was like he was like rushing out to, uh, I don't know, like he had a big date or something. But anyway, you can, if you look through the front glass, you can sort of see there's some offices upstairs and downstairs. There's actually uh, empty office. So I guess maybe he rents office space or something. I wasn't, he, he just, it's a big empty office with plenty of storage. So, and then the guy next door, I don't know if you can see anything in there. See, that's just a big empty room. But upstairs you can see some desks and a computer and stuff. So I asked the guy next door who runs an auto, auto parts place and he told me it was an office space for Wild uh, Honda or something like that, like auto dealership. Anyway, the building pretty much looks like it did back in the old days except for the fence being here. And I guess they keep some cars. There's a motor coach back here and there's some kind of custom car back there. And uh, those stairs were there the door is different, and uh, the side door looked just like that, pretty much. And you see how there's buildings behind there, behind the thing? Well, in the time that I used to work here, there was no gate here when I worked here. It was just open. There used to be a lot of woods. Now I think there's a, uh, some kind of like a little strip mall behind here. We used to see all kinds of uh, wildlife back here because it was a wooded area. It was like, I don't know, a couple acres of wooded area. One time, we used to have a raccoon that used to come out, and uh, he was really friendly, and we used to feed him crackers all the time. He'd take the crackers, he'd rub them on the ground, and then he'd start eating them. It was really weird. One day, I saw a bobcat back here, just casually walked into it. There was no fence in the back back, so from the woods to the parking lot, it was all open, and you could just basically... Um, uh, uh, the animals could come freely back and forth. But anyway... Um, oh yeah, so one of the first years I worked here, they tied a cassette tape to the back of my car bumper, and then they like they pulled one end free so it would unreal, and when I drove out of the lot, the tape thing, and one thing about videotape is, it's very, very strong. Whatever plastic it's made out of, it's very, very strong, and um, it will stay on your car for a long time. Like, the cassette may break off, but then you'll have like... 200 feet of videotape hanging. It's a pretty funny practical joke, actually, when they did that. Like, I got home and I got out of my car, I looked back, and there was all this videotape. It's like a big, it was like a big streamer coming off the end of my car, but it's pretty, pretty funny. In thinking about new things to do this year, I'm thinking about starting a segment called Things I Don't Like. <laughs> I was just in the bathroom and they had one of those hand towel dispensers. And uh, you're supposed to, I guess you're supposed to grab it with both hands and pull evenly. But if you don't, you rip off half the paper towels and then it won't pull out anymore. So, addition one, things I don't like. Hand towel dispensers that don't have clear signs on them telling you how to use them. Things I don't like.
it's a little smoky here because the road here at Snook Haven is like uh, a dirt road and somebody just left and there's all this smoke. Right now I'm in Snook Haven which is like considered like a retreat area where they have restaurants and I guess you can take boat, boat tours and you can go down the Mayaka River. And I think they have some camping out here. I noticed there was another place called Camp, uh, what was it called? Camp Venice or something like that? So this place, as far as I had known, is, uh, it says Riverfront Restaurant and Park. It's been here for a long, long time. Somewhere in the stretch, I'd say more than 30 years. I haven't been here in the last 10 years, but I guess today was a good day to sort of stop and check it out. So I'm at the restaurant right now, sitting outside. So it's kind of confusing because like these signs over here, they have these arrows, they say, dining room entrance that way. And the first door you get to, it says not an entrance. And you have to go around. Or you come back to this window. If you're eating inside, you go to that side. If you're coming back, you come to this counter. So, a little confusing, but. So let's taste this uh, sloppy joe. Pretty good. Sweet. I like, I like, I guess it's like barbecued pork or barbecued beef or something, but I always loved uh, Sloppy Joe's ever since I was a little kid. One of my, I still eat Sloppy Joe's when I can find them in the stores. Somebody's testing their microphone over there. I think this guy's getting ready to play some music. Anyway, I'm also waiting for my nephew to call me because... He lives in this area, and I was gonna just like sort of swing down. I just decided the last minute to swing down. So he gets late. He works late at night, so he gets up late. And so still waiting for him to call. I don't know if I'm gonna get a hold of him or not. But otherwise, I'm gonna be hanging out here for a little while. If you were a tourist and you came out to Florida and you were to look at the water, it would look all brown and polluted, but that really isn't the case. It is, it is the tannin from, I guess, the leaves that stains it a brown color. Because right here, it's, it's very, very clean. And uh, you, can see the, you can see the bottom. But it's just like a stain, a brown stain in there. So it isn't necessarily polluted as you would think it would be. So if you choose to do go on a Logan River boat tours at Snookhaven, this is the boat that they have for you to ride on. Which I guess you could come out and see some really cool wildlife. Got a lot of comfortable seating there. Come out and see the birds and the alligators and the otters and all kinds of crazy stuff on this cool pontoon boat out here. I've been on river tours before and I've done a lot of kayaking. You can see some, I don't know if you can see them, there's kayakers over there. I've done a lot of backwoods kayaking and I know it can be a lot of fun. It can be very relaxing just to come out and spend an hour or so out here. Kind of old school Florida. As I was walking over to the restaurant, I noticed this old school, I don't know if it's a, if it's a house or some kind of boarding house, but pretty neat old building. This reminds me of just old school Florida whenever I've been in the country. This is basically what it looks like. It looks like the, there's like furniture in there, like a house. I don't know. I have to ask somebody at the restaurant. Maybe they just use it for a storage or something. Whoops, just fell on some bricks. Over to the right over here is, I guess, the, Miss, the <laughs> Mississippi, the Mayaka River. Pretty nice today. It's been pretty cool, but this is like an old, old school tin roof. I, I hesitate to say cracker, but it's, you know, this would be the country version of a home. Two story house. Maybe they use it for an office or something. I don't know. I bet you didn't know that this was the, uh, the home of the, the Gulf Coast Banjo Society. Every Thursday you can come out here and see the Banjo Society. I shot some video of this guy and I was talking to him for a few minutes over there. He plays some really 
cool like blues based like swampy Florida music. I think it's I think it's his original stuck on it. Very nice guy. His name's Jody Valdez. So I, I just want to do his quick shout out while I was here because I talked to him. He said he said he appreciate the shout out on YouTube. So Bodie Valdez, everybody. We also got a nice gift shop out here with some uh, Snookhaven swag out here. You can see some buy some nice T-shirts, all kinds of hats and stuff. Very cool. It's a unique place as far as. Uh, Florida goes this almost you almost think that this was like a sort of a fish camp type of place where back in the old days they used to have like fish camps was like a combination of a campground and a fishing hole and you just like rent a little little tiny cabin and you'd go out fishing for the weekend I guess and sometimes people would do that it's like almost like hunting you get a hunting cabin and you just spend a couple days there and you hunt and you come back and you eat dinner and you sleep there and then you come back out and you go fishing again it's a pretty cool place i would say worthwhile stopping by if you're going to be in the northport area uh fun stuff to do the food was actually really great it's true where it says great food very true and i think right down the street they have a camping place and i think I can see the RVs right there. I think you can you can park here for your RV. So you can look it up on uh, the internet, sookhaven.com or something like that, probably. I don't know what it is. Just gonna look around and probably take off and look for some more adventure stuff. Interstate I-75 and River Road, and there's been a lot of songs you've probably heard about the Road to Nowhere or Nowheresville or Thousand Roads to Nowhere. Well, you know where Ro Nowheresville, <laughs> the Road to Nowhere ends? It ends right here at the end of River Road in Northport. Crazy.